Hello everyone, welcome to Kiridi. In today's session, we are going to discuss an amazing circuit that could help you to boost up your score during competitive exams. You might have seen this kind of questions in many competitive exam question papers, right? So these numbers are called as recurring numbers. So recurring number means the same numbers repeat for n number of times. Now here you have the first question 0 0.666666. So it will go up to infinity. Right now, look at third question. You have 0 0.142857, 142857, 142857. So that set of 142857, that numbers repeat for n number of times. Now, there is a shortcut to convert this kind of recurring number into fractions. But today, we are not going to discuss that. We will be discussing the standard fraction for this kind of recurring numbers that will help you to save much time during your competitive exams. Okay, now how we can write the 0 0.6666 the whole square, right? So 6666 up to infinity the whole square. We have pursued some concepts in percentages, right? So percentage as well as is equivalent fraction. If you haven't watched the video, I am attaching the link in description. So please have a look at it. Now we can write the 66.66 percentage as 2 by 3, isn't it? So 2 by 3 is nothing but 66.66 percentage, I am sorry. So 2 by 3 is 66.66 percentage. So it is not actually 66.66 percentage, it is 66.66666 so on. It is a recurring fraction, 66.66 percentage. This is the standard value we are giving for this fraction. But if you type the 2 by 3 in calculator, you will get this value, 0 0.666666 up to infinity, right? So that 66.66 percentage is nothing but 0 0.66666 in decimal form. So we can write 2 by 3 instead of this value, right? So it is nothing but 2 by 3 the whole square. So what is 2 by 3 the whole square? So 2 square is 4 and 3 square is 9. Now again you have to write this fraction in decimal equivalent. Now we know 1 by 9 is 11.11 .11 percentage. Again it is not 11.11, .11, it is 11.1111 up to infinity, right? So we are standardizing with only two decimal places, 11.11%. .11%. Now 1 by 9 can be written as 0 0.111111, so on, right up to infinity. So if you type the value in calculator, you will get this only. Okay, now if 1 by 9 is 0 0.1111 up to infinity, then you can write 2 by 9 as 0 0.222222, right? Then what will be 4 by 9? It is 0 0.444444 up to infinity. Right, so that, that is a recurring number. So 4 by 9 is nothing but 0 0.444444. So this becomes our answer. Now look at the second question. You have 0 0.09090909. So on. Now we know 1 by 11 is 9.090909 percentage. So we are standardizing with only two places, 9.09 percentage. Now, if you type this value in Calci, we will get 0 0.09090909 up to infinity, right? And we can write this 0 0.090909 as 1 by 11 the whole square, right? Because you have to find the square, so it is 1 by 11 the whole square. Now you have into 11, so just write this 1 by 11 the whole square as 1 by 11 into 1 by 11 into this 11 comes here so cancel this you get 1 by 11 so what is 1 by 11 we already know it is 0 0.090909 right so this becomes our answer you might wonder so why i have to study this see if you try to convert these numbers using traditional approach that will consume much time so if you know from 1 by 1 to at least a 1 by 19 you can save much time Right, so for that, if you take 1 by 19, you have to check what is 2 by 19, 3 by 19, 4 by 19. So initially you might feel difficult, but if you keep on practicing it, you use it to it, right? Okay, now look at the third question. You have 0 0.333333 the whole square. So what is 0 0.33? We know 33.3333 percentages, 1 by 3. So 1 by 3 is 0 0.333333, so on, right? Now, this is little challenging one. 0 0.142857, 142857, 142857. Now, how can we write 142857? We know 1 by 7 is 14.2857, 142857, so on, percentage, right? We are standardizing with only two places. 1 by 7 is 14.28 percentage. 
So, 1 by 7's equivalent decimal number is 0 0.142857, 142857, 142857. So, this set is repeating for n number of times, right? Now, there is a shortcut to uh, keep this 2 by 7 in mind. So, the shortcut goes like this. Now, the smallest number in 142857 is 1. So, it starts with 4. Now, what is the second smallest number in the series? It is 2. So, it will recur from here. 285714, 285714, 285714. So, it will be 0 0.285714, 285714. So, it will recur like this. Now, if you want to find 3 by 7, now, what is the third smallest number here? The third smallest number is 4. So, it will start from 4. It is 4828571. So, it will record like this 0 0.428571, Okay, now if you want to find for 4 by 7, you have to look the next smallest number. So, it is 5. For 5 by 7, it will be 7. For 6 by 7, it will be 8. So, it will record like this. Now, for this question, you have to write it as 1 by 7. So, it is 1 by 3 the whole square into 1 by 7 the whole square. Now, what is 1 by 3 the whole square? It is nothing but 1 by 9. What is 1 by 7 the whole square? It is 1 by 49. So, it is 1 by 9 into 49. We get 1 by 441. Now, you don't want to find the decimal equivalent of this because you have to find only fractional equivalent for this question. So, I hope this is helpful for you, right? And we have planned to post more videos in our application. So if you haven't downloaded our application from Play Store, please download it and share the video to your friends. And if you find something useful, like the video. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day. Wish you all the very best.